Good day, graded students. I'm Teacher Irwin, your arts mentor. Welcome to episode 1 of quarter 3 of Arts 8 Dream TV. For this episode, you will be learning about the arts and crafts of South Asia. Always bear in mind to ready yourself, prepare your pen and paper, and most importantly, enjoy learning arts. Let's try! Before we start our lesson, let's assess your prior knowledge about the arts and crafts of South Asia. What another name is Diwali known for? A. Festival of Colors B. Festival of Images C. Festival of Lights D. Festival of Sounds Which period of Indian art evolution originated from Buddhism into Hinduism or Brahmanism? A. Ancient period B. Classical period C. Mughal period D. Transitional period Which of the following statements does not describe about Rangoli? A. Celebrated by Hindus in India in October or November B. Is the art of making designs or patterns on the walls or the floor of the house using finely ground white powder along with the different colors? C. It comes from the word rang, meaning color, in a valley, meaning colored creepers or row of colors. D. One of the most pleasing art forms of India. Number 4. Which period of Indian arts contributed to the enrichment of Indian culture in painting and architecture? A. Ancient period B. Baroque period C. Classical period D. Mughal period Number 5. Who asked to build the Taj Mahal? A. His wife B. Mustas Mahal C. Shah Jahan D. Worker Let's explore and discover. These are the periods of Indian art and their characteristics. Ancient period, a horseshoe shapes around the Wangora River, known as Rap Tap Temples, consists of 30 caves each dedicated to the life of Buddha, fills with sculpture, wall murals, and ceiling paintings. Classical period, image of Shiva, the destroyer, develops into Siva, the cosmic dancer, represented by a four-armed figure. In this figure, one hand holds the fire, with which destroys. Another holds a drum, which is the first sound heard in the world during creation. Then the third arm points up, and the reassuring gesture, and a fourth arm points down to the dwarf, in which he dances too. Islamic Ascendancy or the Transitional Period Period of evolution from Buddhism into Hinduism or Brahmanism The two great Indian epics, the Mahabharata and the Ramayana emerged in this period Mughal Period Mughals contributed to the enrichment of Indian culture in painting and in architecture Most splendid example is the Taj Mahal built in 1632 by Shah Jahan in memory of his wife. 
represent the Islamic Garden of Paradise and is widely regarded as the greatest achievement in Mughal architecture. Indian Arts Diwali Diwali is celebrated by Hindus in India and all around the world in October or November. It is the Hindu New Year and it's either a three-day or a five-day holiday depending on where you came from. It is a very exciting and colorful holiday where homes are clean to welcome the new year and windows are open so that the Hindu goddess of wealth, Lakshmi, can enter. Hindus believe that she cannot enter her house which is not lit up, so every household burns special Diwali clay lamps to light the way for the goddess. This is why the holiday is also known as the Festival of Lights, Rangoli. Rangoli is one of the most pleasing art forms of India. It is the art of making designs or patterns on the walls or the floor of the house using finely ground white powder along with different colors. It comes from the word Rang meaning color and Avali meaning colored creepers or row of colors. The traditional form of Rangoli made use of designs and motifs based on nature such as mangoes, creepers, flowers, swans, peacocks, etc. Let's practice! Now that we have ended our discussion, in line with the arts and crafts of South Asia, let us practice with the following activities. Where do I belong? Identify the characteristics that is being described in the artworks from India. Choose the letter for the corresponding pictures. Write your answer on your paper. Consists of 30 caves, each dedicated to the life of Buddha. Use of designs and motifs based on nature, such as mangoes, creepers, flowers, swans, peacocks, etc. It is a very exciting and colorful holiday where homes are clean to welcome the new year and windows are open so that the Hindu goddess of wealth, Lakshmi, can enter. Represent the Islamic Garden of Paradise and is widely regarded as the greatest achievement in Mughal architecture. This was the period of evolution from Buddhism into Hinduism or Brahmanism. What is the importance of knowing the characteristics of arts and crafts of South Asia? Let's do more. Take a look at the picture below. Examine the elements and principles of arts shown in the picture. Put a check in the box provided if the elements and principles of arts are observed. How did you analyze the different elements and principles of Indian arts?
Which of the following statements does not describe about Rangoli? A. Celebrate by Hindus in India in October or November. B. Is the art of making designs or patterns on the walls or the floor of the house using finely ground white powder along with the different colors. C. It comes from the word rang, meaning color, in a valley, meaning colored creepers or row of colors. D. One of the most pleasing art forms of India. Which period of Indian art evolution originated from Buddhism into Hinduism or Brahmanism? A. Ancient period B. Classical period C. Mughal period D. Transitional period What another name is Diwali known for? A. Festival of Colors B. Festival of Images C. Festival of Lights D. Festival of Sounds Which period of Indian arts contributed to the enrichment of Indian culture in painting and architecture? A. Ancient period B. Baroque period C. Classical period D. Mughal period Number 5. Who asked to build the Taj Mahal? A. His wife B. Mustas Mahal C. Shah Jahan D. Worker Congratulations students for a job well done. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. That ends our lesson for today. See you again to our next journey in the world of arts. Once again, I'm Teacher Erwin, your arts buddy. God bless and take care everyone.